this car up because it's so cold. And let me charge this phone. Bro, because you already know, phone dying. Can't do the mugbang with the phone dead. Put my seat back, get a little comfy. Let the car heat up first. Yeah, let the car heat up first. I know I said we wasn't gonna do no sit downs this month, but hold on. Well, this, ain't, this is still kind of like a vlog, cause it is. <laughs> cause I said it is. Whatever I say it is, that's what it is, and that's what it's gonna be. We're gonna let this car heat up, and then we're gonna start our little muckety bang bang, you know? We're situated, the car is warm. I got my food. This is what I'm gonna be doing as my mukbang. Let me show you guys what I got. I went to Boloco, as you guys seen in the first clip. So normally what I do when I go to Boloco, I get a Caesar, I get a Caesar, um, a Caesar salad, but I add white rice in it. I don't know why, I really like that. Um, but they switched their whole menu up since they've been back. If you have me on Twitter, before I got blocked, I mentioned this, and I was very upset because they didn't have any type of like Caesar salad ingredients at all. They didn't have lettuce, they didn't have Caesar sauce, they didn't have anything. Um, and then one day I went back because uh, someone had told me that they have it again. So I went back and they did indeed have it. So that was that. So I went back once, I went twice, but it just didn't, it didn't, it didn't sit with me. I, was, I still wasn't in the mood for it. But today I wasn't in the mood for it. I wanted something different. I went back and they didn't have lettuce again. So they only had the romaine lettuce that was mixed with the cabbage and all that. And I don't do all that extra stuff. I'm very like simple, very picky when it comes to food. I just want, I really don't even like romaine lettuce. I really just wanted um, like either kale or spinach and they didn't have either one so I didn't get it. Boom. Now that I got that off the chest. <gasps> Boom. So what I got was the rice, the chicken, the croutons, and the Caesar sauce. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I don't know if it looked good or not. They also changed their bowls. If, you, if you're not in the Boston area, you probably don't know what Boloco is, but it's like a Mexican, um, I think it's Mexican. It's like a Mexican place um, where you can get food. Um, yeah, this is not, this is not all that. So boom, this is what I got. This is what I'm gonna be eating. In this video, as you can tell by the title, I am going to be doing a get to know me. I have never, ever, ever done a get to know me on this channel. I only did one Q&A and it wasn't even really a QA. and a It was the, um, doing my makeup for the first time, which came out horrible. If you haven't watched that video, make sure you check that video out. But um, yeah, I never did one of those because my input on it, I, let, me, let me put this down because I'm over here like, Trying to, boom, I got my thumbnail already, by the way. But my input on it, I don't really like um, when YouTubers do the whole get to know me as the first video. I mean, you can, because they got to get to know you. But I personally didn't want to do that as my first video. Um, I wanted to really wait until I kind of got like a fan base, until I got a lot of supporters who actually genuinely care um, about getting to know me. So now that I have that, it's almost a year that I've been on YouTube. I think I have that. Um, there's like a solid, I would say 100 people, maybe a little bit more, who are very solid. Consistently, you guys are watching my videos and I love you and I thank you guys so much. If you're new to the channel, hopefully you're gonna be one of those type of people as well. And I hope that you end up liking this video, you check out my other videos, hopefully you stay a part of the family. If you do like my content, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Turn on your post notifications so you don't miss any videos that I post going forward. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Um, don't be don't be like that. Don't be like that. If you do like this video, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. And that's for the people who are new and for the people who are not new. Whew. All right. Since we're on that topic, comment down below at any point of the video when you feel like you need to comment. All right. Let's jump into this video. So in this video, I am doing a get to know me. And if you're new to my channel, then this is perfect for you because you're gonna get to know me. But I have some questions that I'm gonna be answering while I'm eating. And yeah, eat, we're gonna vibe. I'm gonna answer some questions and that's it. That's all we're gonna do in this video. 
and we're gonna chill. So this is my food again. We have the rice on the bottom, we have the chicken, we have the croutons, we have the Caesar sauce. I am gonna mix this up. I like when it's like that. I think it's so much better. Um, see, they still got the cabbage in there. Look at that, y'all. Can y'all see that? I don't, I don't get jiggy with none of that, so we're just gonna take that out. But I would normally shake it up with the cap on it, but we ain't gonna do that just for this video. We ain't gonna do that. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna mix this bad boy up. It does look good. This is the medium bowl. They just changed all the sizes. The bowls never look like this, but this is what we got. I really want you guys to be able to see my food, so hopefully you guys can see. Um, the sun is right there, so I kinda want you guys over there. Okay. This is what we're gonna do. So we just gonna put this back. We're gonna sit back in here and we're gonna chill. We're gonna buy. Alright. So taste test. Take my shoes off. Ow. It's good. It was good enough for us to do this video. All right. So, the first question is, am I a morning or a night person? So, honestly, honestly speaking, I am better off as a morning person. I like to wake up in the morning, and I really like to get everything done in the morning so I can chill at night. I think that the nighttime is more for relaxing, and get, getting your sleep. So I would say that I'm more of a morning person. I'd rather go out in the morning than go out at night. I know you ain't supposed to talk while you're eating, but this is a whole mucky bang, bang, bang. So we're gonna do that. All right. The next question is, oh, I forgot to show you my drink. I've been drinking already. This is my cyber drink. So, TikTok has taught me something. I get the strawberry acai. Well, it was a different way that they showed me. But, more to story, it came down to being this. Strawberry acai with lemonade. And you add raspberry syrup in it. This drink is bomb. It tastes like, um... It tastes like, um... What the hell is that? It's like something in the window. Um... It tastes like Sour Patch Kids. Really good though. But, am I afraid of the dark? So, <laughs> yes. Yes, I am afraid of the dark. Um, I ain't with none of that scary stuff. I don't like watching scary movies. Uh, that that's I don't like upsetting my spirits. Uh-uh, yes, I am afraid of the dark, yes, I am. The next one. Is your girl left-handed or right-handed? So, as you can tell from eating with my right hand, I am right-handed. Fun fact, I can eat, I can do a lot of things with my left hand. I can eat with my left hand. I'm more comfortable eating with my left hand. I really have to teach myself how to eat with my right hand, but I'm more comfortable eating with my right hand, I mean my left hand, and, um, I had a really bad habit of sucking my thumb, and I did that when I was younger, and I did that mainly with my left hand, too. But I am right-handed, and I do everything on my right hand now. Do I prefer coffee or tea? I, I'm i not a big fan of coffee, um, but I'm also not a big fan of tea. I'm actually not either one. Um, but if I had to choose between the two, I'd rather have tea because you can drink way more healthier teas than you can ever do with coffee. Um, coffee, I just don't like the, I don't like the adrenaline rush and then the crash. So I'd rather go with teas just because you can be very more herbal and way more healthier. Do I prefer cats or dogs? I am 100% going to pick dogs. You guys know that we have a dog now. Um, me and cats just 
it's just not a connection between the two. I've grown up with a dog in the house. I've had I've been around dogs since I was younger. Cats are just very like aggressive to me. I don't like being scratched. Cats like to scratch. I don't like my stuff being scratched up. I don't like lint on my clothes. That's just how I feel. Not, no hate to the cat lovers, but I'm just going to pick a dog over cat. Any day. Any day. Do I speak any other languages? English is my primary language. It depends on how technical we're going to get. Because technically, I can speak Ebonics. Technically, see, I be making up my own words, so it depends. It, be, it depends. No, sir, but I speak English. Um, I'm very, very, very little in this language, but I can understand a lot of Spanish, and I can speak a little bit. Um, I want to learn a lot of languages. I want to probably learn every language that my brain can ever take in, but as of right now, English. I can speak English. If you need somebody to translate English, I got you. Come to me. Do I have any tattoos or piercings? I'm going to start with the piercings. I have my ears pierced. Down here. The regular ones. I have those since I was a baby. I've had other ears piercings, but as of right now, I don't have them. I took them all out. Um, I've had my chest pierced. I don't have that anymore. I took it out. Um, I've had my nose pierced. This one, this one. But they're gone. I took them out. I've had my belly button pierced. I just took that one out. Um... I've had two belly button piercings. I've had the regular belly button, then I have the one right under it going the sideways. I took those out. Um, those are the piercings I had, but honestly, the only ones that stayed is the one, the regular ones on the bottom. Not a big fan of piercings as I get older. I do want my nose pierced again, but that's all the piercings I have right now. As far as tattoos, obviously you can't take away tattoos that easy. But I don't want to get rid of any of my tattoos. But I do have a lot of tattoos. Um, that just reminded me that someone did request for me to do a um, describing my tattoos video. Which I honestly forgot about and I am so sorry. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. But I do have tattoos. I believe I have seven or eight. I think it's seven. No, I think it's eight. I do have a lot of tattoos. Um, I have a whole leg sleeve. Well, kind of a sleeve. I have from my hip. Well, technically, I have from like up here all the way down to my ankle on um, my leg. I have um, tattoos. On, I have a tattoo right here on my chest. I have tattoos on my shoulders. Wait, do I have both? Or do I have one? No, I have one. I want to get both. Um, I have tattoos on my hands. Uh... Yeah, I have a lot of tattoos, and I want more. Um, but yeah, so that's that. Have I ever been to a concert? Yes, I have been to a concert. I've been to the J. Cole concert, which was... Oh, my God. They got another one in here, bro. Nobody eats that. Nobody eats that. Um, whatever. That's not serious. Um, I have been to the J. Cole concert. Water, water, um, keep on. I almost got my ear. This is what we have right now. I almost feel it. Let me try to get my thumb in your hood. Well, it's kind of whack to do it now because the food's empty. It ain't gonna look as good. So we ain't gonna use that thumb now. But I've been to a Jacob concert, I've been to the weekend. 
I've been to, um, what's that dude's name? Um, Justin Timberlake. I've been to, I know there's another one. Oh, Drake and Migos. When they did their little collab, I've been to those. I want to go to more. I don't know how it's going to be with Corona, but yeah. I want to go to more concerts. Have I ever had braces? So, like I told you guys earlier, I had a very bad habit of sucking my thumb when I was younger. All the way up until like high school, really. But, I never had braces. I had a retainer, um, which I knocked out like within the same week from sucking my thumb. But, I never had braces. Funny story is next week on Monday, well, it wouldn't be next week by the time that you guys get this video, but next week from today, when I'm recording this video, um, I have an appointment to get my teeth checked out. My teeth are not bad. I do have an overbite, which I don't like. Um, I just want to fix it up, fix it up, fix it up, fix it up. But I might get braces. So, I don't know. But, yeah. So, that's next week. So, maybe. As of right now, no. My next one is, what is my dream car? So, this car that I have now is a Honda Civic. A Lex, we got. This actually was not my dream car. When I got this car, I really wanted a Toyota. I wanted a Toyota Camry, an all white one. I ended up getting a Honda Civic, all black one. Um, <laughs> that's funny, of course, right? But. As of right now, well, we're not going to say my dream car, but a car that I really, 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 really want right now that just seems a little far-fetched, even though it's really not, it's a Tesla. Really want a Tesla. I love, love, love Tesla. Um, but that's my, like, dream car. I also really want a hatchback. I love the sporty look on cars. Uh, but I really want a hatchback right now. So those would be like my dream cars as of right now. Um, I would be super excited to get one. Um, yeah, those would be like my dream cars. There's other cars that I really want, that I really like, that I'm into. But those would be my dream cars as of like right now. All right, we have two questions left. We're nowhere near done with our food, so let me eat some more. Update of where we at. I'm with them. The food's good. The rice is a little hard, but it's good. It's not bad without the lettuce, but it's a big bite. All right. The next question is. Next question is, what are my current obsessions? So, this is actually a pretty good question. As of right now, <clears throat> my current obsessions are, there's a car behind me and I feel like they want to park here, but I'm not leaving, so they're just going to be behind me for a while because I'm not leaving. But, um, my current obsessions as of right now, definitely Starbucks. Definitely Starbucks. Starbucks is definitely one. Um, that's a good question. Let me think. Hold on. I don't know what extent we're going to with this question, but 
I'm obsessed with um, Lil TJ calling my phone, his song. That was definitely one. Um, oh, I don't know how I forgot this. Definitely been obsessed with bags, purses, all of that stuff. Definitely, definitely, definitely. That's definitely my obsession right there. I, I figured it out. I'm obsessed with purses right now. Mini bags, big bags, just purses. I'm obsessed with them. Always been obsessed with sunglasses, so that's not really a new one. But purses is definitely one that's been spiking up in my in my in my book. I'm not. I'm doing my YouTube video. Wait, what time you start? <laughs> Nigga. There's nothing behind me? No, there's nothing behind you. <sighs> I'm not comfortable. I ain't got no shoes on. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. I'm about to. All right. We're going to finish this off real quick. We're almost done. This is where our food's at. We got one question left. My favorite. Oh. I could? Yeah. It's alright. I'm not gonna be done anyway. I'm off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Alright. Um, so my favorite drink is the last one. And if you know me. If you've been with me for a little while, I know I mentioned this before, but my favorite, favorite, favorite drink of all time, definitely orange juice. Definitely orange juice, water, obviously. Water is easy. I don't really need to say that, so whoever's going to be thinking about it, have, thinking about commenting it, don't. Water is obviously my favorite. We ain't talking about water right now. We're talking about other things. Other things like orange juice. I wish I said other things more important, but it's definitely not more important. But other things like orange juice, orange juice is just the bomb. It's the bomb.com. Crazy thing is, the person I said that they ain't gonna get my purse back, got my purse back. Gotta be kind, gotta be next in this world. Look at my bracelet, this is a crystal bracelet. But anyway, that was the final question. I'm still talking with my mouth wet. So, <laughs> my bad. But, that was the final question. This is how much food we got left. I'm gonna finish this up. Um, yeah, it was nice hanging with you guys. Thank you for doing this little mucky bang bang with me. Um, mukbang, mukbang, whatever y'all call it. Thank you for joining with me. Hopefully, you learned some things about me. I'll definitely do another one. I'll definitely do another one. Um, I'll definitely do another one. This was fun. It was nice hanging out with you guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. Comment down below anything you felt like you needed to comment. Oh, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I love you guys, and I will see you all in my next video.